a well-trained and organized population, enormously encouraged and heartened by the RAF, infuriated and hardened by suffering and daily visited by its leaders from the King and Churchill, adjusted itself to the bombing situation with extraordinary calm and courage. Wardens, firemen, rescue workers, salvage teams, repair gangs, bomb disposal squads, ambulance drivers, doctors, nurses, factory workers and housewives all were working together, cheating the Luftwaffe of its victory. With water pipes fractured and supplies short, they queued in an orderly manner, patiently waiting to fill their buckets. There was a complete air of calm. And for most, life was simply a routine of making do as best they could. Neighbors would work alongside each other, salvaging what few possessions were left after a night's raid. The daily array of ARP wardens, police, firemen, passing volunteers and servicemen, frantically digging, often with bare hands, amid the chaos of disintegrating buildings to rescue survivors, their pets and belongings became in every sense dreadfully familiar. The Luftwaffe flew over 12,000 night sorties during this period of the Blitz. And the terror which the people had to face was daunting and dreadful. <laughs> 